Listen, come on! Listen to me, damn it! Gummer, listen to me! Let's celebrate. What are we celebrating? Our last mission. I've heard that before. This is the one. By the end of the day, all of us are gonna be fucking rich. But mostly, you and me. It's another wreck. It's not just any wreck. The UNN Urshinabi. Dropped off the map less than a week ago. No distress call. Those UNN pricks never come out this far unless they're carrying something special. Aren't you one of those UNN pricks? <laughs> Easy. If I'm still one of those UNN pricks, then you're still an OPA traitor with Anderson Dawes' bounty on your head. But... The past is the past. The past is the past. Why didn't you take it? The bounty. I knew you were worth more. Anybody who could piss off someone that dangerous must be pretty fucking valuable. And with that, hello you beautiful people and welcome to another let's play this time a telltale game why not right um <laughs> the expense the game is called and um yeah don't make the same mistake he did i work for you but you don't own me <laughs> believe me i'm well aware just want to make sure you're not having second thoughts about our deal no come on we're equal partners. We pay the crew, the costs, and the overhead. The rest is 50-50. You and me. We've got a good thing going here. Nobody fucks with you, which means nobody fucks with me. And hell, if this score is what I think it could be, you've got the deal of the century. Do we? Now drink. I don't want to! Yeah, let's have it later. I'll toast you when I've got my fortune. He will not See like yourself. that. I'll keep awaiting for when you return. And yes, I yet do not know how much interaction there's gonna be. Um, I have not seen Except a few trailers. Time to rally the crew for Cox's latest, last mission. I should start by briefing Khan. Okay, we have interactivity. That's good, that's good, that's good. So we could go down. That is neat. Tutorial, if you're lost, press to ping. Oh, hello. Okay, there's a ping. And yes, um, well, I have not... I've seen a couple of episodes of the first season of the expense i do not know that much about the series so that's actually kind of good and kind of bad but well i'm gonna be and let myself be surprised Khan, new orders from the captain i know he already sent me the coordinates captain thinks that this could be last score we'll ever need all of a century i got the pep talk from him What's our ETA? It depends. On what? On how long you plan to waste my time. Oh dear. I made the lackey upset. Forgive me.
Hmm. Yeah, let her have it. Call me that again. We're nearly there. The debris field is massive. It'll take me a minute to navigate. Somebody blew that ship to hell and back. I should check the command console for more information on the Oshinabi. Yeah. She's been chewing on that same cigar for weeks. And I wanted to say smoking kill well, smoking reduces your lifetime on ship or planet, but at least she's not smoking actively, right? Wouldn't want to do a high G burn in one of these. It's bad enough with the juice and the cushy chair. Haven't had to shoot much, but we keep the PDCs fully stocked. Just in case. As the XO, it's my job to make sure the ship and its crew are in order. I keep a log on the ship and on our scavenge missions. Alright, ship and type United Nations Navy, Leonidas class, Jupiter orbit. Mission specification, enter the ship, scan the area and return with any valuables. Potential risk, no one knows why the Oshanabi was in this area or why they never sent out a distress signal. Whatever caused the wreck, pirates, Martian force, forces might still be in the vicinity, crew. Yeah, 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 uh, scanning and reconnaissance, dramas lock the Oshanabi is a brand new wreck if Cox Intel is good. The United Nations, I am sorry, the United Nations will likely send another ship to investigate the loss of one of their navy, but that could take weeks. Cox is overconfident as always, but there could be valuables on board. Time to find the rest of the crew. Will do. Arlen said he put all this away. What was it? Three days ago? Lazy Gemma. Ship's diagnostics always come back good. The Artemis isn't much to look at, but she's built to last. Of course. Cox needs to get his beauty rest before he gets back to work, doing absolutely nothing. Huh. I used to suit up in the prep room with everyone. But I've seen Arlen's and Rayan's asses enough for one lifetime. Now, I keep my vac suit in my room. Maya has a plan for this meditation session. She's going to bring her makeup kit and wait until Virgil gets into a deep trance then go to town on him. I may have to watch. Introduction information on the medical benefits of meditation assistance in choosing a mantra practice session. No talking. Right. Virgil. Virgil. <sighs> Exo drummer. <clears throat> Usually medics only know enough to plug that thing in and rig up the morphine dispenser. Well, I took a course in autodoc repair during my residency. Useful for work outside the medical system. It's been giving me abnormal readings since series, but I finally know why. The laser crystal's badly occluded. This looks like the kind of job that Maya would kill for. While Miss Castillo can no doubt install a new crystal, I'm afraid we'll need a new one first. I can only imagine what ancient welding equipment the captain dug this stone out of. But we'll need a high-quality gem for surgical work. I assume you didn't come here to talk about crystals. 
We have a new target. What is it this time, El Dorado? The Fountain of Youth? Let me guess. The Falcon Horde of Venus? <laughs> the UNN Urshanabi. Cap believes there's something valuable on board. Something special. Do we want to invite that kind of attention? We'll be fine. In and out. No games. I'll monitor any data you send back, and I'll be here to patch anyone up, should it come to that. Okay, briefed trints will do. Where do I look for a replacement crystal? Aside from medical, high-end navigation or communication systems use them as well. Any other medic, and I'd assume he spent the day napping in this. But not this medic. We never have enough supplies, but Virgil always seems to make do. When Cox recruited me, a big selling point was the med bay and the medic. Not something you see on most scavenging ships. Should I be concerned that our medic thinks we need this many prosthetics? Well, he hopefully knows something I don't. Hopefully not, right? That would be. No one on this ship likes to talk about their past, but Virgil is a real mystery. Only Cox knows his deal, and he's not saying. All right, there we came from. Let's have a quick look. Ah, officer deck goes down. All right, I see. Ah, sorry, that is where we just have. Suit up in the prep room yes. with everyone. Can I skip? I want to skip. I've seen and Ray and yeah. enough for I'm sorry. Done. Hopefully, maybe now, I cut it out. Yeah, there we go again. Oh boy. I, I was confused by, by the way, um, this display, which looks the same. But here we have not been. Have we? Every time we exit this no. airlock, I pray that we'll return with our lives. Unfortunately, that's all we've been returning with so far. All right, good. Here, we, I would like to know what, by the way, this machine is. But anyhow, whoever stole my barbecue sauce, I will find you. I wonder what angry pilot could have written this. What's your excuse this time? You not get enough sleep? You need some aqua caca, huh? Ow! Oh, just let me go, it just fell, okay? Well, I tell you! Tinsha, you stupid prick! Quit fucking up! Hey, boss man! Make him stop! Shut it, Tokaka! Carry on. I'm enjoying the show. See, Pashanwala? Even Exo agrees. Okay, okay. For the good brother. <laughs> we got a job, Baradnas. Listen up. Nah, fuck that. I'm tired of rooting around in the dumpster for that Inya. Cox promised us a real payday. He said, give me three months and you never have to work again. He said... He said... This the next job, and he the boss man. Just like series, bossing everyone around, only this time no dolls to keep you on the leash, yeah? This isn't series. On the ship, I'm the EXO. Shit. I was only fucking with you, Copain. Come on, Baratna. Yeah, maybe we overreacted here, Tinsy bit. So far, 
None of the biomass that's gone through this recycler has been a crew member. I consider that a win. Supplies are always tight on long jobs, but we're running low on even the basics now. Maya is making an effort to learn some belter words, and Arlen is... trying to help. Okay, we might be finding out what the Artemis, Artemis lock actually is at one point, I guess. When we are back at the command Food table upstairs. The belt is never stairs. fancy. But my stomach still turns when I look at this mush. Arlen is right that Rayan can't keep his shit from breaking. It only makes my job harder. Nothing like fresh herbs and spices to go with dry kibble. Okay. Ignore the graphical issue there that we could look uh, ETA five minutes, drummer. Through Head back wall. to my room to suit up now. Yeah, but I There's our okay, that's on the other hand, the way we have not yet been going, right, where we not yet have been. If he doesn't secure that thing before we come out of trust, we'll all be finding pieces in our bits. Again. I told him he couldn't wear OPA symbols for the sake of crew unity. So instead he displays it here, like a petulant child. That's all? No. Okay. I bet she sniffs that box before she goes to bed. That's our cabin. Yeah, from here, that's our cabin, in a way. Somehow I am not surprised to learn that Maya keeps a copy of our ship's manual by her bedside. Um, heat shield maintenance part 362, tantalum, hafinium carbide application, total reapplication of TA4H4C5 powder compound should Accurary 8 million kilometers or 10 hours of acceleration above 1500 kilometers per second. Routinely check heat shield barrier coating with radiation scanner. For hotspots above 80% mean temperature. If hotspots are found, shut down reactor and reapply TA 4HFC 5 powder compound immediately. If what's what persists, see action three, four, nine for emergency. Maya fits in well for her first time in the belt, despite whatever philota this book taught her. I never thought I'd get along with a Martian Marine, but Maya hates the MCRN almost as much as I do. The Martian Congressional Republic Navy has processed your discharge from the Martian Armed Forces effective immediately status dishonorable reason for your discharge include but are not limited to insubordination three counts direct direct oh my goodness direction of duty two counts sharing un anti Martian media literally or sentiment two accounts fraternization one account the MCRN does not tolerate divisive behavior within its ranks in order to propose to prosper I'm sorry all citizens must work to serve the Republic and advance Martian interests. By failing in your duties to Mars, you have impeded the cost to which billions of Martians have dedicated their lives. Yeah, okay, then let's see it up for a last bit of today's episode, actually. I got a lot closer to a captain's chair than I would have expected. And a lot further away from anything else. Those gave me everything. 
a job, a purpose, a community, until he took it all away. You think the dogs at series were dangerous, even Ubicha and the bell will be after you. Now, dead or alive, I told them, Tensha for Pasa Kamina. Even with everything he's done to me, I would never turn Dos into UNN forces. Our records indicate that you have not returned to your apartment in Hermes Square in nearly two months. As such, we summers that you have left Siri Station. Your arrest warrant remains in effect throughout the belt and if found you will be returned to Siri for indi indictment and incarceration. However, we are prepared to re-examine the charges against you should you find yourself in possession of information regarding Anderson Davies' whereabouts. If you wish to speak further on this matter, our office is willing to compensate you for your time and commitment to the appropriate carriage of justice in Ceres Station. took every yen I had to get off Ceres without Dawes or Star Helix noticing. Never had time for dating on Ceres. Now I've got plenty of time and no one to date. We're sorry to see you go. Uh, hey there, Kamina. Due to lack of payment, we regret you to inform that your account with low gravity, no pressure, LGNP has lapsed. We hope this is a sign that you've found the connection you've been looking for. As the premise website for singles and open-minded couples on Sirius, LGNP wishes you the best. If your circumstances change, we will be proud to offer our fully encrypted discretion guaranteed services to meet you again. Upon receipt of your own fees, best of luck there. LGNP assumes no risk or liability. All encounters are red. The risk of the participating parties, medical and criminal records are available at an extra cost. Please contact us with any questions. Wait, was there? Dos gave me every. Never had time for dating on series. Okay. Now I've got plenty of time. A little token of my childhood on series. Each time it gets another crack, it reminds me of that shit heap even more. Alright then, let's suit up. Where are you going to go, Kamina? Huh? Anywhere but here. With anyone but you. <laughs> Hate me all you want. You are many things, Beltaloda, but you are not a traitor. You love your Bell, and right now, Bell is me. But well, you guys, that's actually a good point to end today's episode. We will... Go on here in the next episode and you know it I as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed today's episode then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully I see you in the next beautiful and hopefully wonderful episode until then I wish you all a wonderful day Sifrost, bye